Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video on the new Revlon Candid Full Coverage Foundation. Bear with me, at first I'm going to be talking, then doing a voiceover, but if you would like to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's just get started. I hope it's not too weird that I'm just wearing a sports bra because you can't even really tell. But I just got out of the shower and I just threw my hair up and the first thing that I'm gonna be applying today is gonna be this Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. I used to use this stuff like in the very beginning of my YouTube channels and I don't know why I stopped using it. I feel like it is extremely moisturizing and it does give you that like primer finish. So um, what I'm going to be testing out for you guys today is this Revlon Candid. Um, I know it's fairly new. Um, I just hadn't been able to find my shade. I do apologize. Everybody's trying to street race. The reason why it's kind of like a weird background, I was going to have like my new desk in the background, but um, the sun is setting. Obviously, this is why this side of my face is bright and the other one isn't. We're just gonna have to make it work, okay? So yeah, everything at Walgreens right now is, um, buy two and get one free, except for the Wet n Wild, um, and e.l.f. products. That's why I got those. So I have already primed my face and then now I got two different colors. I got the 250, which is vanilla, and then I got the 150, which is cream brulee. Um... And I'm just going to kind of see. I'm going to put it on this stippling brush. I think this actually is my color. I do like the pump action because it's just like, there's no mess to it. These actually are pretty similar in colors, but um, I'm going to go ahead and see. I'm going to do one side of my face with this brush. Okay, so I think this is pretty full coverage, but I'm not liking the um, the stippling brush. I know I'm not, so. I mean, if you can look up on my eye, it's just not really even covering it that great, but I don't believe it's the foundation's fault. I'm not really feeling this so far with like either one. I mean, it's not covering. I'm gonna try a um, thicker brush. This is the e.l.f. powder brush. It's kind of dirty right now though, so we'll see. Maybe using something a little more dense would help. Okay guys, so this is where I'm jumping in to do the voiceover. Um, Derek had to go to sleep in the room right next to me, so I did not want to wake him up. Um, however, I am using the more dense brush and I feel like I'm getting a lot better uh, all around coverage. Next I'm going to be going in with the new Milani um, concealer and at first I didn't really get the best impression from this either. I really didn't like the applicator um, that it came with. However, when I did start using it with a brush or a sponge, I did get a lot more full coverage and I've actually been using this every day since. I really like it. It doesn't become oily or anything and it blends out very well. So altogether, I really think it helped this foundation. So now that we are finished with our foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Contour Palette and I'm just going to be taking a big kabuki brush. I got this one at Walmart, I believe, a while ago, so I don't know if they still have it, but... Um, I'm using the powder side for uh, my setting powder and then now I'm going in with the Bon Voyage and I'm going to be using the blush with another big kabuki and that's what I'm going to use to contour my face. I'm just using that kabuki on my cheekbones as well as my forehead and my jawline. And next I'm going to be taking a flattened brush and I'm going to be using that same exact bronzer that we were just using and I'm just going to lightly carve out my cheekbones to give it a little bit more definition. Next I'm going to be going in with the ABH color um, or dip brow in taupe and what I like to do is I like to carve out a line defining my brow on the bottom and then I like to go in and do the wing and then fill in the rest. So now that I have both brows done we're going to be going in with that Bon Voyage palette again and I'm going to be using the blush on the right hand side. 
Um, I don't really like too much blush, so I'm just going to be using a least generous amount. I did get this brush in a Ipsy box, so I am sorry. I do not know exactly where you guys are able to purchase it. After we're done with a blush, I'm going to be going in with one of my favorites. This is the Casey Holmes Smashbox Collab um, Highlight Palette, and I'm going to be going in with the shade Pearl. And I'm going to be using a fan brush and highlighting the top of my cheekbones as well as the tip of my nose and a little bit on my brows. Um, with that Bomb bon Voyage palette that we have been using for our bronzer and blush, there also is a really nice highlighter on that too. So I figured that it has everything in one. It's a super easy travel palette that you could use and you have everything in there so you don't have to pack as much makeup. Moving on to mascara, and I honestly do apologize. I know I use this almost every time, but it just really works for me, and I have yet to find anything else that um, works as great as this does for me. It just really fills out my lashes and gives it a lot of volume and length. Um, so I'm just going to be applying that, that to my upper lashes and a little bit on my lower. I don't really like too much on my lower. I just like to um, give it a little bit of definition on those, but... I always keep it simple. Okay, so for the last step to complete this look, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick, and I'm going to be going in with the shade Lace Detail. I think it's a perfect nudie color with just a little bit of mauve pink color, and I think it just really complements my skin, so it's one of my favorites. Um, this stuff stays on forever. And here is what everything put together looks like, and actually I'm really kind of digging it now. Okay guys, so I'm gonna bring you into the sunlight a little bit um, so you can see my face in like natural light, maybe. I'm in my kitchen right now. I did have to stop filming um, with like me talking to you guys mid video because um, my fiance did go to bed. He works nights and he has to sleep during the day um, and he couldn't sleep in our bedroom so he was sleeping in the one right next to the one that I was filming on and uh, I just didn't want to wake him up. But at first it wasn't really a favorite, but now seeing it all put together, I feel like I feel like it's a pretty good foundation. It was a little rough. It does not work with a stippling brush, nor does it work with a beauty blender for me personally, but um, I did use a denser brush. It's like a powder brush, more of like a kabuki style brush. I did use that and I feel like that worked out a lot, lot better. So I hope it does last. Um, I, I'm happy with the results. I'm like not disappointed in the fact that I spent money on this foundation. I don't think it's 100% full coverage. So if you're like one of those people like me, myself, um, who likes just a ton of coverage, then might not be the, I say it's more of like a medium to full um so it might not be your first choice either but um yeah overall I think that everything turned out pretty well and if you guys have any questions oh and I definitely recommend that concealer I don't re recommend the application brush that they have with it because it's just like a weird little hard sponge but I think the concealer it works great so i would 10 out of 10 recommend that milani one and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry i haven't done one of these in so long i need to get back on it um, i just have so much on my plate this year and yeah i've been busy but if you guys like these videos then please just give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button when you do exit this video or right now so you can follow my channel and follow this journey with me if you guys have any recommendations please let me know and i will be sure to film that so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye